Okay, so the uh, the last one in this little uh, mini series, if you will, about uh, amounts of substance, and now we're turning our attention specifically to the ideal gas equation. Uh, and what about the Oscars last night, eh? Uh, very interested to hear what your thoughts are about bullying. I mean, you don't go around hitting people just because they don't like uh, what they say. But then again, do you stand up and start having a go at someone's missus in a public forum? I don't know. If that's not bullying. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, PV is equal to NRT. That's the ideal gas equation. Uh, you don't need to derive it, but you do need to uh, be able to rearrange it. Um, it, I appreciate that chemistry can be quite confusing, so we've got uh, one mole of a gas occupies 24, but not in this case, because um, what if we've got different um, uh, conditions other than um, room temperature and pressure? Pressure's got us to be measured in pascals. Now we've got volume next, and we've dealt with uh, converting between centimeters cubed and meters cubed, but now this is kind of a a physics type SI equation, uh, system international units have to be used. So volume of gas is going to be measured in meters cubed. And then we've got amounts of substance. Word of warning for the ideal gas constant. It's simply a number that you should know. Um, use what is on your data sheets if you're dealing with OCR or, or another awarding body that give you a data sheet value. OCR tends to use 8.314. Um, AQA tends to put the value that they want to use for R in the question and temperature that has to be measured in Kelvin. So before we crack on with um, uh, some questions, there's some conversions. So kilo uh, a thousand, so kilogram is a thousand grams, kilopascals is a thousand pascals. A hundred a hundred kilopascals or a hundred thousand. Uh, pascals is about one atmosphere, which is the, the same pressures we tend to experience, you know, a typical one atmosphere pressure that we experience here on the surface of the Earth. So one kilopascal is a thousand pascals. So divide by a thousand uh, to go from pascals to kilopascals and multiply by a thousand to go the other way. One meter cubed is a thousand decimeters cubed and a thousand decimeters cubed uh, is uh, a million centimeters cubed. So at times 10 to the 3 and times 10 to the minus 3 for each of those steps, or to get directly from meters cubed uh, to centimeters cubed times by 1 million or times 10 to the power of 6, and obviously divide by those factors to go the other way. And to go from degrees Celsius to Kelvin, we just add 273. So 0 degrees Celsius is 273 Kelvin minus 273 degrees Celsius is zero Kelvin. You just have to know those unit conversions. So here is our first ideal gas question, and it's got a little bit of a twist. As always, it pays dividends to show you're working out fully. Um, let's just trawl through the question and see what variables we've got. We know it's going to be a PV NRT question simply by taking a look at the fact that we've got, you know, um, pressure and we've got a temperature um, which is kind of 83 the degrees Celsius. Uh, is that a red herring? I think it is because the actual temperature in the question is 100 degrees Celsius, not 83 degrees Celsius. Um, P, R, V, and T. And how are we going to get to N? So let's take a little look. Um, N is going to be equal to uh, mass divided by molar mass. Um, so we can get to that. The pressure, the ideal gas value will be on a data sheet or in the question if it was on AQA. Um, the volume is given to us in the question, is it? Yeah, we're going to have to convert the units for that. And the temperature is given in the question. Okay, so pressure first up. Just lift that straight from the question. Uh, volume, uh, we have to divide by 1 million to get to the meters cubed from centimeters cubed. Um, so that's 10 cent to the minus 6. R is 8.314, or whatever value was given to you in the question, if you haven't got that on a data sheet. And T uh, is equal to uh, is equal to 3. 73 Kelvin there. Okay. Um, rearranging that equation, N is equal to PV over RT, which gives us a number of moles by putting those values in. 
uh, gives us um, uh, the, the, those values which are given there, uh, PV over RT. Um, gives us that uh, amount of substance in moles. Um, that's just simply a rearrangement of number of moles is mass divided by molar mass. So that gives us those numbers there. The 0.4485 is the mass of A. And that gives us that, um, uh, that molar mass. So now we need to perhaps use a little bit of trial and error. But there is a clue. Uh, it's an oxide of chlorine. So if there is one atom of chlorine, it's going to end in 0.5. Now the fact that our value ends in 0 0.0 means that there are going to be an even number of chlorines in this compound. So try two. And then if you've got two chlorines, you know that's 35.5 plus 35.5 subtracted from 183. How many oxygens did that leave you with? Uh, if two didn't work, would four work? I think in this case, four would be too many. Um, so as I said before, you need to know the units uh, and which units to use and how to convert between them. Um, trial and error to get to A, but it must have an even number of chlorine atoms. A must be Cl2O7. Okay, so we've got uh, the, the second and the final of the two PVNRT questions here. Um, we needed to um, work out uh, from the previous question, or we need to use from the previous question, that this methane hydrate is 13.4 percent methane our first task is going to be to work out the mass of methane in one kilogram of methane hydrate um it's obviously a pvnrt question if you look closely we've got a volume that we need to work out we've got a temperature which is not rtp so that's zero degrees celsius and we've got a pressure in kilopascals so pv is equal to nrt we can work out the amount of the methane from mass over molar mass. Um, we've got pressure and temperature in the question, but we're going to have to convert to SI units there. And always worthwhile making the thing that you are looking for the subject. So in this case, V is equal to NRT over P. Um, so 101 kilopascals is 101 times 10 to the 3 pascals, and 0 degrees Celsius is 273 Kelvin. Um, 1000 divided by 16. Uh, but times by 0.134 because only 13.4% of that 1,000 kilograms, uh, sorry, that 1,000 grams is uh, is methane. So that's 8.375 moles. Put the digits into the equation and you get 0.188 meters cube. See how the word free is in bolder. We need to give our answers to three significant figures.